what's up? How are you? Good, you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Congratulations Good. on the show. Thank you so much. Uh, hugely epic in nature, but fantastic characters. What was it like for you when you read the script and, and embraced all of Tolkien's magic? Yeah, I'd read The Hobbit when I was a kid, like 12, and then I read it to my son when he was a, an equivalent age. So some of it was, was in me, but, but at the same time, once you get a script, it's a whole brand new thing. And also, because this is thousands of years before the Lord of the Rings book, so you you it's a whole new world and what was stunning about receiving those scripts which was ultimately on an ipad in hotel quarantine in new zealand for two weeks was that was you could feel how jd and patrick our writers had had fully immersed themselves and opened up this world just through the stage directions and the dialogue and the scenes that happened it was that was very exciting reading those first few episodes because I thought wow this is this is going to be something rather special were you sworn to secrecy did you know what it was when you were auditioning so I spoke to some of the cast this morning and they were like it was untitled Amazon project but did you start to get hints as, as the time went on as to what it was yeah as an actor now in the modern world and I've been at it for quite a long time and so it's changed quite a bit so you, you're quite used to getting dummy sides you know yeah. so like they don't, they don't they don't say anything and then you have to do this little bit of detective work so officially it's untitled amazon project but then the agent goes it's lord of the ring so you know that it's that but then through the process uh you know go, going one self tape doing a second self tape meeting jd and patrick for an hour and a half on zoom and getting doing um, doing something else and doing a chemistry read and so you get each time the script changes so you get a bit more information as you get through the gates as it were so i had i had a pretty good idea of who i was playing before i uh, before i landed in new zealand yeah and i mean fans of all literally literature or comic books always have an idea of what they want their characters to look like. Everyone has a Batman in their head, everyone has a yeah. Superman. The same yeah. with Lord of the Rings. Do you think you're, how excited are you for the fans to see, but also how good a job do you think the showrunners have done in embracing Tolkien, but also giving it its new life, if you like? It's a really good question. And, and that, like I was saying with, uh, with reading those scripts and realizing that these writers had, had got it, they understood it deeply. And then if, when you meet them, these are a couple of deeply smart geek boys. You know, they absolutely adore Tolkien and they have an encyclopedic knowledge of it. They can even quote letters, you know, letter number 133. And so what you realize is that those, those themes are safe, Tolkien's story is safe. And for us, they're, they're very well aware that it's all about the source material. So you keep going back to the cradle that's keeping you, holding you with his storytelling and then expand from there. And, and, and as we've all discussed, this is, this is our adaptation at this point in history. There'll be another one in 300 years' time because Tolkien will last and last. I wish you all the best tonight. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure talking to you. Have a good evening.